Okay guys, so it's finally starting to happen. The GPU prices are starting to come down, which means there's gonna be a bunch of you out there that want to upgrade your graphics cards. So today we thought we'd put together a quick video on how to do that upgrade cleanly so you don't fall into any problems when you do it. So to help us with our demo today, we're gonna to be upgrading this. This is my son's PC that he built during the pandemic when he decided to move from console gaming to PC gaming and he actually did a fantastic job. The system itself is an AMD Ryzen 5 3600, 32 gigabytes of DDR4, but unfortunately we couldn't find him a proper graphics card at the time, so he actually borrowed one from the studio. The card in this machine at the moment is a GTX 1060 6 gigabytes, and it's been more than enough for him up till now, but due to the recent upgrade I've had from the RX 5700 XT to the 3070 Ti, we've decided to give him the card from my old machine, this one. Now this is gonna be a hell of an upgrade for him because this card is a lot faster than the GTX 1060. And considering he only really plays Fortnite, it's gonna be more than enough for him for a long time yet. Now, before we start tearing apart our machines, what we need to do is understand there's a two part phase to this. Phase one is obviously physically changing the graphics card over simply by taking it out of the system and putting the new one in, making sure everything's plugged in and booting it up again. Now that will work for 99% of the cases because Windows itself will detect the new graphics card and will install the software that it needs, particularly if you're gonna rerun the driver setup for the new card. But if you're actually swapping brands, so going from something like Nvidia to AMD, sometimes you can run into issues and this is where phase two comes. Phase two is on a software side. What we need to do is make sure that we remove all of the drivers and all of the software from the previous brand before we install the new one and that helps with any conflicts that we'll find in the future. Now like I say, before we tear this machine apart, we need to actually look at phase two. Let's understand how we cleanly remove those drivers using a tool called DDU. So we'll take the machine over to the bench and we'll get started. Okay, so once you've booted into Windows, what you need to do is go into your favorite browser in this case, we're using Microsoft Edge and we're gonna search for a tool called DDU Uninstaller. Now you can get this from the wagnardsoft.com website by clicking there, agree to everything and searching for the download. Now we wanna to go to software, DDU and installer and we wanna look for the latest version. In this instance, the version is 18.0.4.9. So we'll click on read more. And then to get the download, we want to just go all the way down and say, click here to download and support. This will redirect you to a forum page, which actually has the link further down in the official download. So we'll click that official download and download the tool. Now what we need to do is install that tool to the system by extracting it and then exiting the folder. Now, if we run this while we're currently in Windows, it will actually give us a bit of a warning. So once we've run it while we're actually in Windows, what we're gonna do is it's gonna say is that it's gonna detect that we're not in safe mode. It's best to run this application in safe mode. So we'll shut the machine down and we'll do that now. To get a machine into safe mode, one of the quickest and easiest methods is to go down to your little Windows corner, and this is Windows 10, hit the settings, scroll down to update and security, hit recovery. Then what we want to do is we want to go to the advanced startup, which will kind of reset windows as such. It'll go to a different kind of menu. Once that menu's appeared, we want to go to troubleshooting, advanced options, startup settings, and hit restart. Now what this will do is it will restart the machine and it will give us another prompt when we boot up. Once the machine has rebooted, we'll get another option menu as we boot up. And what we wanna do is we wanna hit number four to get the machine into safe mode. Now that we're back into Windows in safe mode, we want to go and rerun that installer again. So we go to downloads, into the folder, run the uninstaller. Now from this menu, what we want to do is we want to select the device type that we want to uninstall everything for. We've got an option between audio and GPU. In our instance, we want a GPU and it will auto detect which GPU we have. So in this case, it's an Nvidia. Now, because we're swapping the graphics card, we want to hit this next button here, which is clean and shut down for installing a new graphics card. Now, if you were running into an issue where your drivers were causing problems, but you weren't actually changing the card, you could actually hit the clean and restart. And what that'll do is it'll just clean everything down, restart the machine, and then you can install the latest drivers again. 
but we're going to hit the third option because we obviously want to change this graphics card. Once hitting that option, it's going to take a few minutes just to run through everything that it needs to remove from the system. And then we're ready to change the card. Now that we've removed the old drivers from the system, we're ready to physically change the card out. To do that, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is remove two screws from this card here and here. And then there's a little clip on your PCI Express slot that you need to push in just to slide the card out. So the first thing we'll do is we'll remove the power cable and we'll flip the machine over. The two screws we're after are here and here, and we'll remove them now. This card that's fitted in the machine is actually a dual slot card, and it's exactly the same as the one that we're replacing it with, so we don't need to take out any more of those PCI blanks at all. My son's PC also has a bit of a brace here, which we will reuse on this one, but we'll undo it for now and we'll just lower it down and get it out of the way so it's not in our way going forward. To remove the card then, we simply need to push down the little clip on the PCI Express slot and lift the card out. So now that we've moved that brace out of the way, we can simply lift the card out of the slot and there we have it, the card is out. To install the new card, all we need to do is do a reverse. So we, we need to take this plastic piece off the bottom, which will come if you have a new card. I like to keep them because if I store the graphics card afterwards, it's nice to have something to put over it and protect it. And we simply push it down into the slot. Reconnect the power. And we will have to actually run an extra cable from the back on this one into the front because his old card actually used a system of a six pin. The new card has a six and a four. Make sure before you buy any graphics card that you double check that your power supply is compatible because if it isn't, you'll need to buy another power supply as well. So now that the card is actually installed in the PCI slot, we're gonna run the cable in a minute. Um, it is in the back of the system. We did fit it when we actually did the system because we knew this was gonna come. We need to refit his GPU brace. We want to make sure it goes under the cable, just like that, and we can start to screw everything back in. Now that the new card is fully installed with the new cable in and the GPU brace, it's ready to get it installed into Windows. So we'll head back over to the bench and we'll get that done. Now that we're back into Windows, when you first install the graphics card, things may look a little bit weird, and that's because there are no drivers for this graphics card. It will actually lower the resolutions and it'll use some kind of Windows standard driver. As you can see, the app center that he was running is pulled up because it's a gigabyte card that we've actually put in. But what we wanna do is go and get the latest drivers from AMD. First, we need to go to our browser and go to amd.com. Now, if you're swapping to an Nvidia card, you need to go to the Nvidia website and obviously pull the latest drivers from them. Things will look a bit skewy because of the resolution, but we'll just try to find the drivers and support. For this card, it's the RX 5700 XT, so we need to go to graphics cards, 5700 series, 5700, and then the 5700 XT. Hit the submit button, and then we'll get a selection of different drivers. So obviously we've got Windows 11, but this machine is a Windows 10, so we wanna to go to the Windows 10, and then you get a couple of options of different drivers. The first one is gonna be the Adrenaline Edition software, which is an optional upgrade, and this is where they generally run like betas and things like that. I don't tend to go for those, particularly when I want a nice stable system. What I want to go for is these recommended drivers here. So we'll just hit download and we'll get them down. Now that our drivers are downloaded, what we need to do is go run that file. We double click on the file that downloaded. As it opens, it's going to do a bit of extraction. So once it's finished extracting, you're gonna get an option with the Agen Adrenaline Edition software to install. If we go to additional options, it can actually give us a different type of installation method. Now, we don't necessarily have to do a factory reset on this because that's why we did the DDU before. The factory reset actually is supposed to remove all of the previous AMD drivers and then install some new ones. But because we're actually moving from Nvidia to AMD, we did a DDU anyway. Now we could actually click the factory reset anyway and just do a full reinstall and that way it should wipe down any of the AMD tools that Microsoft Windows installed itself. So we'll just hit install on that. 
Because we clicked a factory reset, what this is going to do is it's actually going to install any of the previous software. We'll get a bit of screen flickering, things like that. And then it's going to attempt to get us to reset the machine. Now we can simply do that by hitting the restart now. The machine will shut down, reboot back up again, and then it will actually start to install the drivers. It's all automatic at this point, so you just need to leave it and let it get on with it. Now that we're back in the operating system, the AMD installer will continue to run. This will usually take a bit of a while to get it done and you'll get some screen flickering as you go along and as it's trying to do stuff. But once this is done, we're actually already there. We've got a new system installed with a new graphics card and everything should be pretty good. Now that the new drivers are installed, that's it. They're just those two simple steps you need to do to cleanly swap your graphics card from one brand to another. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you want to see more in the future, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or feel free to join our community discord where there's many builders out there that will help you do this process. Make sure you drop a like on this video if you like the content and we'll catch you in the next one.